Iraq Central Bank, CBI, have given their outlets instructions on how to advance train their employees on foreign currency exchange procedures. This is major news and getting closer. Later this month I will provide, IMO, an important post of when I think the pound rate change, our blessing will occur. Central Bank's Appetite for Gold The Linkedin article discusses the increased interest of central banks in gold as a reserve asset. It notes that despite substantial purchases, the demand for gold from these institutions remains high, reflecting a strategic shift towards diversifying reserves and potentially hedging against economic uncertainties. Record Gold Buying in 2024 The Money Metals article details how central banks have set new records for gold buying in the first half of 2024. It points out that the scale of purchases is unprecedented, which could indicate a significant change in how central banks view gold in their reserve management strategies. These trends suggest a few key points, diversification and risk management. Central banks are increasingly turning to gold as a safe haven asset amid ongoing economic and geopolitical uncertainties. Gold is seen as a hedge against inflation, currency devaluation, and other financial risks. Long-term trends, the continuous high level of gold buying suggests that central banks may be repositioning their reserves for long-term stability rather than short-term gains. This reflects a strategic approach to reserve management in response to evolving global financial conditions. Market impact, the increased demand from central banks could influence gold prices and availability in the market. As central banks accumulate more gold, it may tighten supply and potentially drive up prices. If you're interested in how, these trends might affect specific markets or financial strategies. Keeping an eye on central bank policies and gold market dynamics will be crucial.